And you're welcome to another episode of Analyze This. My name is Tunji Andrews, and with me on the show, as usual, my co-host. Honey Ogundei. So we're going to be talking about the wedding industry, uh, the wedding sector, basically, in Nigeria, and how it's such a multi-million dollar industry. Um, numbers are saying that it's anything between 50 and 100 million every year. That's turnover, just basically spent. You guys like to spend too much money. But we're going to be trying to break it down and see um, why it is such an elaborate uh, scenario, why people want to spend so much, much money on just one single day, right? It's not just one single day. It's like That's the, the way most it feels to important me. day of your life. Yeah. The day that you get married and get to spend lots of your money and your parents' money if you're lucky. These days I see like they're having like the bachelorette, the bachelor party, then they're going to have like the, the introduction, wedding, the then introduction. the court wedding, then the actual wedding ceremony. Mm -hmm. And it feels like some people are even then some people are doing honeymoon, like you know, like so for some people that can span like over like six cities. So I had a friend whose family member just got married recently. And like just those four events were like over four different countries. So mm. one part was here in London, another part is in Nigeria, another part is in Dubai. And you can imagine for all the guests like flying in for all of that. So they're like committing to spending a lot as well. And it's just crazy. I'm just, and with Instagram now, I feel like it's making it worse because now every wedding has to have a hashtag and everybody can see, you know, Basically, what it's you not, did it's not just did. even the hashtag, it's the websites that you have to go to, you know, it's the... Yeah, but the websites are so old school now. Like, everybody just has, like, the hashtag and then from, oh. like, the engagements. Because okay. the engagements are even getting elaborate now. So I had yeah. a friend who got engaged and it was, like, 30 people, big dinner already with lights, camera, action, the banner. So from hmm. the engagement, they already have the hashtag and then you're following it basically, like, all the way through, like... So you can imagine, like, this, the actual spend. So I, I think, like, at the end of it, they might just wake up and just think, like, where did all that money, money go? go? You know, and I am yet to meet one person, one person who says, I should have spent more money on my wedding. In uh, this entire life, I am I'm yet to meet one person. And when you're talking before the wedding, there's always that, you know, it's my big day. I need to do this. Yeah. I need to do that. And you're trying to say, no, 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 spend, no, spend. And the person keeps trying to, you know, but after it, then the person goes, um, you know, I really shouldn't have spent that money. Because when you start thinking about, okay. Afterwards, yeah. Yeah, so. It, it's great because they managed to find a way to like monetize basically every milestone yeah, along yeah, the way. Yeah. But, you know, and this is just a huge industry that's creating like millions of jobs, which I guess in a way is great. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess in the other way, it's kind of like, where does this all sort of end up? And where is really, like, where's the money? You know, how do we trace the money? So I know the first part, the people that benefit the most are the people who rent out the events places, the halls, right. and the rest. Those guys are cleaning out, as in... And those guys do the marquees, right? Because those things, like the, all the canopies, yeah. all those things. I think any kind of apparatus that you need for weddings, those guys are probably mm -hmm. like making mm -hmm. lots of money. The decorators, I can imagine now, because the decor is now like... It has beyond. to come like. I'm so happy that I notch. got married like before all of these things. Like then when, the camera guys, the oh, guys yeah, that then the it's not like a movie. Now they're like, doing you, videos with drones. You know, it's like, and when he saw her, <laughs> so it's really, really becoming. But are something they selling new. like a lifestyle, or are they selling an aspiration to millions of young women who are maybe still in university or in secondary school, which is just not unattainable? Like, so when people are getting married, they're pressuring their parents and pressuring themselves and pressuring the guys that are. That you know, they're getting married to, to have these big weddings that, frankly, people can't afford all the time. Um, I, I think, okay, for me, right, um, I, I tr or towards my wedding, um, shout out to Akara. Um, yeah. he, he basically sat me down and said, it's about the memories of the day, right? right? So he was talking, to, he was trying to, you know, show me places where we could, you know, on a low, on a tight budget, do something that will really be very, you know, memorable. Mm -hmm. So it was, we're trying to go for memories as against spending money. Right. And of course, that's because, you know, your budget is, your pocket is lean. So you're trying yeah. to make sure that you, you know, put your resources together. So there's a budget for everybody. There are the people who have the large budgets that can do it, you know, memorable and big at the same time. But if you have a small budget, you know, you do it small and memorable. The idea is make sure that the memories stick. Even makeup artists, if you see how much makeup artists charge now to do your face up for the day, is getting into the millions in some cases. Like, True. like at this point, I, I can't really agree with you that all of this like <laughs> makes sense and is rational. <laughs> like, there has to be a point. I feel like where we all have to maybe like the pair Hold down, the yeah, like the pair okay. down wedding or something needs to come back in fashion. But at the same time, it's like 
I think so. Do what? Like a pared down wedding, like you know, like a more sort of. Uh, nah, a nah. No, you don't think that's going to happen. We're going to be happen? talking to a, a wedding planner, uh, someone who runs this parts of parts of this industry, has been making some money in that industry, and basically we're going to be running through her mind to see how exactly yeah, we're running it works. through her mind, right? Just checking. But I'm super excited that we have this guest because she's a good, a super, super good friend of her. I've known her since I was 13. She is actually experienced like in the oil and gas industry, but she's actually making a big impact in the wedding industry with regards to rentals. Um, so her company is a digital online company where you can go and literally rent a party, including a wedding. So imagine if you're planning a wedding and you don't want to go through all the costs of having a wedding planner and a wedding broker and somebody else that sits in the middle. She basically allows you to cut out the middleman go directly to her site and be able to put your whole wedding together. And apart from that, they will even help you like come up with the decor options and coordinate all of that. And she has a sister company, which also does wedding coordination as well, which is too generous. And the other company is called Rent a Party. So I'm super excited to welcome Yewande Abiyose to the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me, honey. Thank you. I like the clapping to do. Thank you, Tunji, for having me. Thank you for being here. <laughs> so let's start. Let's get right in. How much is too much? Like, what should people be spending on a wedding? Yes. Um, I like to think of it as, you know, every individual is different. Um, so I classify them into three. We have our, yes, the middle class, the ones that make the substantial yeah. um, payments mm -hmm. that actually um, are significant to the industry at the moment. Mm -hmm. We have the middle class, the upper middle, and the upper class, super rich. And what I find is that they all spend different amounts of money on different things in the industry. Mm. So take for instance, um, most middle class people are young guys, you know. So they have a job. They have a job and they might not have a family that can support um, them mm -hmm. to do um, a wedding. So they spend between 7 million to 10 million. Again, these are just estimates. Wow. So would um, that be for the whole, like for the whole shebang? Like yes, for the yes, okay, yes. Okay, okay. Uh, well, Again, we're talking about the wedding day itself. Okay. Um, Nigerian culture, of course, we have from the introduction to engagement as we know it, mm -hmm. then traditional engagement, which is the Nigerian traditional engagement, mm -hmm. and then we have the white wedding. Mm -hmm. I would say that the smart people try to capture themselves within that seven to ten million, right. while others still shoot above, above that. that. But the middle class try to stay within that range because, you know, they find different ways of saving money. So um, you can DIY it. So mm -hmm. there's some things that rather than having to have a decorator come and do the entire work for you, you might just have a sister or a, um, a cousin that can help you. So that's what middle class guys yeah. do to yeah, save yeah. money so mm -hmm. that they don't have to spend that much money. So then you have which other classes? The middle, upper middle. Right. So um, they are going? younger people, obviously, um, also possibly have families that can support. You find okay. that when you have a family that is mm -hmm. excited about you, having you a big wedding, life, yeah. you also get into the Nigerian wedding fever, which is what, which is what I call it. Mm -hmm. And what happens there is that they can um, afford some more things. So it's similar mm -hmm. to what you said earlier mm -hmm. during your introduction, where you said, what is the most important thing for you? Um, photography for me, when I was it's, getting married, yeah. is also very, oh, okay. very important yeah. because mm -hmm. that's Capturing how you the save the, the, yeah. the memories, you know. So they would probably spend more on those kind of things and spend less on, do I need to have desserts? Do yeah. I need to have, you know, all the elaborate things? Special so what they effects, do is, yes, but then you as the person that comes to the wedding, you would still see it at an elaborate wedding mm. because yeah. the, the people that are getting married are getting smarter. smarter. And that is the Nigerian way, you nice. know, yes, mm. There might not be a lot of money in the system, but there are ways that we can be creative to still ensure that we, we get what we want. It's basically Nigerian packaging, right? Correct. Correct. <laughs> packaging in the wedding industry. Correct. It's what we do best. Well, the upper class, super rich. So that's the no holds barred. Yes. You can have what you, you want. Kind of. what Daddy you says, want. go money along. Is not an object. Money is not money a is problem. problem. Yes. Yeah. What they do is more, um, where are my family? A lot right. of them actually have family abroad and some of them do Nigeria. We're talking about Nigeria at the moment because we're talking about the Nigerian mm -hmm. industry. Yeah. So those guys tend to spend on um, Ashwebi. They mm. spend, yes, they do. They spend more on decor or the planner. Now, a lot of people are going for planners because also there's a status to it. You yeah. know, it might not, well, a lot of the top planners know what they're doing, but it might not necessarily have to do with, you know, Being it's also a brand. It's, it's a brand. Yeah. So people want to associate their events to a particular planner. So planners are very important. And then the planners then advise, you know, knowing the caliber of clients they have super rich mm -hmm. they then give them the top end vendors and at that stage they believe that the planner is professional and should be able to give them good enough advice mm -hmm. so super rich are the ones that are going out of this world to make sure that you look at their pictures from their events it looks like it's not even nigeria so it's on average how much would you say they spend on the super we see those super it starts big. from about a hundred million 
naira wow to yeah. get married 100 million naira like yes and the reason and that's for if you're having the range of maybe 500 to 700 so it could even be more if you're having the elaborate 1000 this people. is like the top 1000 1, right this is like the, yes well with the nigerian population of 185 you find that only that one percent which is the upper super rich yeah and i know that there are some vendors that. who can build a really good profitable business from yes. just serving that one percent yes, market right? correct correct so there's some um planners that will tell you there's some jobs i don't take you know initially when i was in the industry when we started in the industry i always thought how pompous but really it is quite strategic because it's the same amount of work that you are yes. spending yes. Yes. So yes, you, yes. You're like <sighs> well there are other planners that yeah. will do anything, anything yeah, yeah. Right. They, would, they would do a birthday party they would do anything literally a naming ceremony um a proposal um they would do it but, but what about the ashwabi thing right so the person decides pink and yellow yeah, or yeah. pink and red that's not a good combination Sorry. but yes not yeah good. i'm just saying um, why can't really I just kind of why guy. can't I just come with my own pink dress with yeah. a red gilly or something like that and now, instead I, of having to wear because I have seen one of those weddings where and and you you might correct me if I'm wrong but I, I guess the Ashwa B is also um, the the cost is relative to the gift that is given Inside to the, so when we're leaving they gave us tabletop fridges mm -hmm. so in my mind i'm like we've been scammed mm -hmm. all i've learned about you this episode this is <laughs> just like you are very bougie and you know lots of interesting people no but the they gave you a fridge as you were going home yeah, yeah that means switch. that means i've possible. been scammed because <laughs> <laughs> the fridge so was... is this actually everything Tuji believes that it's a scam is yeah. it a scam well as you know honey my mom is in the industry yeah, of I Ashwabi. love your mom. So, yes, yeah, so I, 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 there's only so much I can say, but what I would tell, what I would <laughs> if tell you... If you still want to go back home, right? <laughs> what I would tell you is bring you back to my system of middle class, upper middle, and super rich. Mm -hmm. Now, middle, yes, they would do it to make some money to mm -hmm. pay for their wedding. And wow. does it make sense? It depends on who's asking. Yeah. Um, the middle, um, upper middle, you find that they might not necessarily put a lot of margin on the Ashwai B, but mm -hmm. the idea of Ashwai B is fantastic. It's our culture. You have right. to do it. It's a Yoruba um, culture. Some people don't Ashwai do it. Ashwai B is literally yes. cloth of the family. Yes. So we're wearing it to celebrate with yes. our kids. So yes. How can we kill our culture just because you don't want to while, buy it? While the super rich will just send it to you in a nice, cute box. You know, and you you can't wait to actually make your fabric and come to the wedding. So yeah. it depends on who's asking. Is it a scam um, for the middle class or the upper middle or super? I've had one where someone sent it to me for free, and then but I mean the whole industry when they send it to you for free, it's not like it's still a zero cost. You still now have to take it to your tailor mm. or you know a designer. Again, we can go to your your system or depending on where you are in the system, you still right. have to go out and get it made. So there there are definitely costs for guests as well, and I think that part we don't often talk about. Mm. So these days, if you're going as a guest, it's almost like bad manners to go with your natural face if you're a woman you almost have to get professional makeup done mm -hmm. which is like making that whole industry grow yes. because imagine every saturday there's basically mm -hmm. hundreds of weddings going on across the country mm -hmm. if you're going to one in lagos everybody's calling a personal makeup person to come and do their yeah. makeup they're calling a tailor to come and sew their clothes they'll need some jewelry if they want to look fancy you sometimes need someone to tie your gilly so even as a guest if someone invites you to a wedding there is now a cost for you to attend the wedding. So you don't have to start thinking strategically, yes. even as a guest, like how many weddings do I want to attend in a certain year? Mm. But, but honey, do you know that we're the ones putting that pressure on ourselves? You know, because I have decided to my, for myself and my, my pockets that there's some weddings I'll go to and just be very minimal with my right. makeup, mm. minimal with my outfits. Because at the end of the day, who do you really know the person? Is the person your family? Yeah. Mm. As long as they see you, they respect that you've come to, mm -hmm. you know, show show that you're happy for them on the day. Yeah. And I and I think that's what matters. We need to remind ourselves that no one is actually really pressuring us. Mm. We're the ones doing it to ourselves. Yeah. And I think like what's key, like for me, I'll choose to go to weddings where I'm really close to, to the person or a close family member. Um otherwise see, that's usually the problem. The close I am to the person the more involved I get when I once I get there yeah so I get to a wedding and he's my it's, it's my friend right that is getting married and I'm seeing issues with probably the service mm. I can't sit down and um, because I know my my friend can't leave what he's doing you yes, know what yes, way is, is yes, uh, yes. so I'm forced to you know get involved I actually there's a friend of mine that I was actually involved I was serving at some point okay, as a wedding like, because you're like the best man at that point no because because you know and the real the real reason mm. I, I do some of that is because i understand the challenges you know he, he, the money you've put into yeah, the wedding right, yeah. and then somebody that's from Drops nowhere comes to 
you know, I spoil like, the whole things mm-hmm. as you plan yeah. just because he's he's no, going no, to that brings me to a good point. Yeah. Which is really like, what happens when you've paid all this money and things don't go right on the date, right? So in my case, when I got married for my engagement, I found some guy to do the videography, right, for the wedding. And when the pictures came out, the whole thing was green. Like there was a green haze. So somebody throughout had mistakenly pressed night vision. So they, they filmed the whole thing with like night vision and a green glaze. And nothing happened. I'd already paid the guy. And you know, in Nigeria style, you just get sorry. Like, mm-hmm. that's it. Can, so yeah. what happens? Who is yes, who protects yes. who? Now, the, that you've just hit the nail on the head. Because what we've realized in the industry is that compared to other industries, we don't necessarily have professional bodies slash trade organizations mm. that are s- supporting the vendors and pe- stakeholders mm-hmm. in the industry. So some have come up. Um, maybe like in the past two years, you know, but everyone's still not sure, you know, is this the trade organization I want to be a part yeah, of? There, there's some one. for event planners, there's some for decorators, there's some for um, the special effects people. And we're finding out that until we all come together as an and industry and have, yeah. exactly. And also, um, we need to stop, um, especially we, the entrepreneurs, because a lot of us, about 75% of us are women. Um, we need to start to treat our businesses like professional businesses right. let's share our numbers let's let people know that this is what we're making these are the issues we're facing get audited this, accounts. Let, let's get our accounts sorted let's get our books sorted you know so once that is done people will start to see that this is an industry that is worth mm-hmm. investing in right. um having people and getting a lot more professionalism yeah. get professionalism and i have to it. say and i have to say for consumers as well what's really key as well is people need to start protecting themselves when you're working with any kind of vendor i would say have some kind of legal agreement it doesn't have you don't have to go to a lawyer you should just draft something up here is what i'm expecting you to provide and here is you know the date and here's the time and this is what happens if this thing doesn't go according to plan do you think that that will help protect people? On top people of your wedding, are... you're not hoping no, something No, if you're going to spend wrong. 100 million or 7 million well, on vendors, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. what gives someone the right to collect your money, be able to provide whatever they like, and you are not protected? We have to start putting these things in place. And like I said, there are some professional organizations now coming up, some mm-hmm. event planners ones, where you find that when people do uh, misbehave, you can report to the professional organization okay. so mm-hmm. that then we start to put sanctions and say, look, we don't support this person that did this. So right. we're getting there. I and know social sure. media is helping as well. Yes. Right? We're shaming. Just yes, yes. Pure shaming people. Yes, like, yes, yeah, they, yes. put it, they put it out there. And at least before you could hide under a bushel. Now with social media, someone's yes. going to put it out there. Yeah, put, you it. Yeah. put you on blast. Yeah, put you on blast. About five years ago, no social media. The industry was completely different. Right. Um, now, because of the fact that I'm able to see what my competitors are doing, I'm trying my best to ensure that my customers also get to see what I'm doing. You find that pe- um, the industry has blown up. Hmm. Is that a good way to put it? It has it has just expanded, hmm. you know, and, and everyone knows what's going on. Brides are going on Pinterest, they're going on Instagram, trying to see different themes, different ideas, and trying to replicate it for their own day. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yewade, for coming on the Thank show. I feel like we've definitely me. learned a lot about weddings. Thank you. I think <laughs> weddings in Nigeria is the number one most Google term in Nigeria. Did you know that? So this industry is not going anywhere anytime soon. I think it's only going to get bigger. We're only going to see more exciting things. It's going to create more jobs. And it's festering a whole new industry and jobs for women, which is really, Correct. really which is really, really key. Um, guys, if you want to follow the conversation on weddings, we'd love to hear from you. How much do you think is too much to spend on a wedding? Or what are you thinking of doing for your wedding? The hashtag to use is analyze this. And you can also reach us at Indani TV. If you want to talk to me personally, uh, the way to reach me is at Honey Ogundei on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube. Um, and I'm always happy to get your messages and hear from you on how you think about weddings. And for Tunji, how can you reach you, Tunji? Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, Tunji Andrews. I'm, I'm not sure I want to hear about weddings. Though, but, I want to yeah. hear about weddings. I want all your wedding stories to slide in my DMs all day long. And you want Trust to me, we... I would want to hear yes, about weddings. Yes, she would. Yeah, definitely. So how so can we reach it, you? For the rental side, it's the company's name is Rent a Party NG. So that's www www.rentapartyng.com and then for the event planning it's sugenerisevents.com right excellent thank you so much for coming on thank you guys and have a great week thank you for having me